Hiya, friends. This one is just for that kind of upper back neck land, um, and we're going to use the wall as our good, good friend, and it's going to help us out, hopefully. So the very first stretch that we're going to go into is just opening through the front of the chest, right, where we cave in and collapse so much of the day. So if you walk up to the wall and you put your arm out, right, just at the height of the shoulder, I mean, I end up turning away from you, but the information is more on the back side than the front side. I'm going to go ahead, and you can't see my toes, but I'm turning not just my body, but I'm turning my toes incrementally little and little bit further away, and I'm trying to let that shoulder, right, that stretched out shoulder rest towards the wall. It doesn't have to be on the wall by any means. Try to find that long, long spine, crown of the head reaching up. And now the last piece is I'd like you to take that hand that you're working with, the arm, push into the palm. And as you push into the palm, you're going to feel the muscles around the shoulder hug the muscle, right, the, the, the bone into the joint. And that's great. So keep pushing gently into the wall. And you might even push your fingertips away from the shoulder. So I'm now pushing into the wall and also reaching my fingers away from my shoulder and take a breath. And go ahead and release that and bring that down. And just, you know, notice the difference of energy between the two, right? We're starting to open up some of that stagnant energy can move. So then we're going to stretch the other one out. Now you can see it from the front side, not as much to see on this side. I've got at the height of the shoulder. And then I'm going to go ahead. And again, I work from my toes, not just from my upper body. I let my toes just slowly turn until my body is in the place where my shoulder starts to feel the stretch. And then I'm going to actively push the hand, my back hand, into the wall. And I'm also going to reach my fingers away from my shoulder. So it's kind of like when you do downward dog, right? I push down and I push forward or away from the direction I'm headed. Go ahead and take one more breath from there. And release that back. Now we're going to do one just for a little bit of the back body. Thread the needle, right? So we're just going to stand near the wall, put one hand on the wall, and the other arm, you're just going to weave it through, right? And when you get through, wherever that is, you're going to try to turn your torso back towards the wall a little bit, even as that shoulder stays stretching in front of you. And just feel that stretch come into the back side of the body. Again, I can gently push the back of my hand and my arm, my working arm, into the wall. And that might help me stretch a little more across that kind of upper trap land. And release that out. My other hand comes on the wall. I stretch across my body about the height of my shoulder, and then I'm going to try to turn my torso, my spine, back towards the wall to the best of my ability. I'm going to push the back of my arm and my hand, my working arm and hand, into the wall and activate those muscles, and then breathe into wherever it is that you feel the stretch. And go ahead and come away from the wall. One more against the wall, and then we'll move into just a little bit of neck stuff. So, Bridge pose. A lot of us know this from the ground. If we're at work or some such thing, we can't, but we probably can walk up to a wall. Interlace your hands behind you or clasp thumbs, right? I'm going to bend my elbows just a little bit first, and I'm going to try to move them into each other so I feel the opening of the chest. Now I can just stay right here, pushing my elbows and my forearms into the wall. You can't see it, but my feet are, you know, a little bit forward of where my shoulders are just for stability. I reach the crown of the head up. Now, if you'd like to bring your shoulders back against the wall and straighten the arms a little bit, now I'm going to push my pinky fingers, my shoulders, and my arms and elbows into the wall and just breathe into that chest. One more piece here. You might even push the very middle of the back of the skull gently into the wall, and then just really gently look up, raise the chin up just a little bit so you get a little extension in the back of the neck. If that hurts the neck at all, don't do it. Take another breath and go ahead and release that. Now, you don't need the wall for this next piece. We're going to go ahead and just move into the neck briefly. Standing up nice and tall, crown of the head reaching up, head turns to the right, and back to center and to the left. My chin is pretty parallel for this particular portion. Back to center, inhale it to the right, back to center, and over to the left. This time we're going to add on. Turn it to the right and let your chin drop down towards your right collarbone and then bring it down to the chest, right, over to the left collarbone and up and then reverse that down to the left collarbone all the way through to the right and back up. Do that again and this time if it feels good to let the crown of the head circle behind you and bring it into a full circle, chin over to the right collarbone and do that again. <clears throat> if not, just do the half circles and then switch the direction when you're ready. 
I don't let my head blop, plop back. I let the crown of my head reach up and back as I move into that back part. Come back to center. Let your right ear move over to your right shoulder and back up. My head, my face does not change position. It is faced forward the whole time. I'm moving into a lateral stretch of a cervical spine. And the next time that you're over to the right, maybe reach those left fingertips down and away. It might amplify that stretch. And then come on up, go over to the other one, reaching the right fingertips down and away, amplifying the stretch. Last piece, friends. This is my favorite of all of them, actually, for the whole text neck, computer neck thing. You can either use your fingers on your chin. I like to bring the crux of my index finger and thumb right up between my lip and my bottom of my chin. I take an inhale and I'm crown of my head is lifting up. Always, always lengthen the cervical spine first, right? And then exhale, push straight back. And inhale. If you're looking at me, you probably don't even see much movement. Exhale, push straight back. I don't push hard. I'm not aggressive. Inhale. I just move back and the back of my neck lengthens or what's called extends, extension. And one more time, push back. This time, stay back. Right now, my hand is not going to let my chin win, but my chin is going to push up into my hand and I look up just a little bit for a little extra muscular extension. And go ahead and release that. And if it feels nice to roll the shoulders to finish it off, go ahead and do that. And then just always, always taking a moment for gratitude, these beautiful bodies. Thank you, thank you. Namaste, friends.